Okay, this is my RGB color picker that I had written, and it works in the, you know, the 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 draw view space of SketchUp. Uh, so that means it works on Mac and Windows. I'm hoping that maybe we can get it incorporated into the GUI development kit that um, that Aurelius has um, been working on. Uh, essentially, anyhow, you just call it as a as a tool, callpick.new, or however you have that set up. So from your within your own plugin, you would call that. And then that loads this color picker. It's essentially a color picker like you're familiar with. I don't know if you can see it's slightly pixelated, the little boxes. That's just to help it so that it draws to the screen quicker. But the color gradient that you choose from is completely smooth. And you pick over here so we get a nice, you know, yellowy color. There we go. Click OK. That tells you, that would that returns what color you've selected. Or you click Cancel and that would return a false value to your plugin. And um, if you click and drag over this box, you can move it around wherever you want to put it. Um, that's about it. So I also have built in, while you have the tool active, when you right click, you can choose um, you know, these different things. I have built in a low resolution, a medium resolution, and a high resolution setting. So you can get a really nice, clean, high resolution color picker, but it's, it's so slow to use, it's almost not even worth it. It just lags. Um, medium resolution works really well, as does low resolution. They, low resolution is really pretty nice. And like I said, even though it shows, you know, this intense pixelation of the gradient, it really chooses from the full range. It's not limited to these, you know, few hundred colors that are shown or whatever. Um, let's see. Also, under color picker settings, you can ch control it even more in depth than that. You can choose whatever size you want from 32 pixels. So essentially there you're only getting four pixels shown, but you can still choose a full range of, of that green. Um, 32 pixels. Now this this detail, this gradient detail, I don't remember exactly how this works in the programming, but what it does, the, the smaller the number, the more detailed the gradient is. So if we put it at one and a box that's 64 wide. See, that's a, it's a very smooth, pretty gradient in there. But even just that, it starts to slow down the the, re the redrawing to the screen. Um, so, you know, stick around 4, 8, and 128 or something. And so, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's it. That's, that's the color picker. I noticed there is a bug sometimes when you click on this bar. Sometimes it returns like a a black value, I think. I don't know. There, there's a bug in here somewhere. So if you find it, feel free to fix it for me. <laughs> All right, that's it.